Our Friday nightcap still with us, Dan Nathan, Mara Campo, Torre, and Paul Rudnick. I want to get everybody's MVP. Who won the week, Mara? Halle Bailey. So the Magic the Kingdom mermaid. got some black girl magic. Yes, she is the new Little Mermaid for the live action remake. And you remember when the trailer came out, the racists mm -hmm. were just big mm -hmm. mad because mm -hmm. the Little Mermaid is supposed to be white. Never mind half fish, half human. They can buy that, but they can't buy the fact that she's black, right? The movie comes out. It grosses $118 million its first mm -hmm. weekend. It won Memorial Day weekend, fifth largest Memorial Day weekend opening ever. Wow. Now all of these review sites are getting flooded with one-star reviews from bots, so they've had to shut down. Down the review process or put little asterisks because the haters are still mad, but they can stay mad. She's going to be starring in the color purple. Next, A Star is Born. Yay. Yep. Mermaids aren't real. It doesn't <laughs> matter what they're like, the whole thing, Paul. Okay, I went with Wanda Sykes, who's glorious Ooh. on every level. Anyway, but she said something that was all over, it started on TikTok and it went all over social media, but I wrote it down. She said, until a drag queen walks into a school and beats eight kids to death with a copy of To Kill a Mockingbird, mm -hmm. I think you're focusing on the wrong shit. Mm -hmm. I thought, she said it all. Yep, right and I thought, that is everything. And I thought, yeah, that's, that's how I wish I'd put it. She nailed it all. Yep. All right, I'm going to stay in my lane. Jensen Wang, he's the CEO of a company that maybe you guys have never heard of, but it tricked trillion dollars in market cap this week. This guy has seen his company grow $300 billion in just the last week in you market cap. You haven't said the name of the company. NVIDIA. 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 Well, Jensen Chips. Wang, CEO of Chips. Okay. It, like, and they are literally the poster child for this yeah. AI craze right now. And just when you think about $300 billion in market cap gaining in one week is truly Why? astounding. Why? What's the magic? Right? So, Tons of people are going, I don't even know what this company does. But all week long, they keep hearing the keep name. Keep hearing it. it, right? What is the magic? People understand the magic of Google. They know what Apple does. So they NVIDIA? basically are making these chips, these very advanced chips that go into supercomputers, that go into data centers. They're going to power these large language models. Okay? So these generative AI models. Models, and this is the thing. This is their customers are Amazon, their customers are Google, their customers are Microsoft. So they're at the center of this. Last week, they guided their revenues for the current quarter up four billion dollars. They gained two hundred and fifty billion dollars in market cap almost immediately. I know you used to cover business. That is astounding, Jensen Wang. He wins it for me this week. You go, Jensen Wang. All we've been talking about all week is succession. Jesse oh Armstrong I'm, I'm is the MVP of the week. The it creator is so of the hard. Show to land the plane, to have a great finale, to a great show. And it was a fantastic, I was on the edge of my seat till the last second. I thought that Kendall was gonna kill himself in the last <gasps> section, right? You in the did? last moment. My wife was saying he's I gonna kill, too. right? They kept talking, right? They kept talking about murder, murder, murder throughout the show. And we're like, is, it, is this it? Cause he's completely despondent, which, you know, if you hated Kendall throughout the run, then you're happy to see that. But um, not, no one was likable, right? That's the, no that was what's like, so complicated about the no show. No one's likable, although Roman, like it couldn't like. help but yes, love yes, Roman. Yes, true. But you know, at the last moment, the family was asked, can you work together to save yourselves and the company? And they could not. And they're like in a potato sack race together, about to cross the finish line. And like, nope, they all fell apart. They're all fighting. It's may mayhem and chaos. It was just a brilliant ending. She wasn't named Shiv by accident. Listen, it wasn't just Succession. Ted Lasso ended this week. We had this big week of finales all while this writer strike is going on, and it's going on for a while. The There's no end in, in sight. What is your take on this? Uh, I think there are so many issues on the table, and the writers, being one, are completely justified in their demands, which are so tiny compared to the amounts of money that the streaming services and their CEOs are making that I cannot tell if there's been any movement. You know, but it's, aside from AI, aside from residuals, it's crazy, and it's something that the directors and the actors are going to go through as well, and it's going to keep changing. You know, it's going to be very hard to hang on for dear life as that marketplace shifts so radically all the time. So, yeah, I don't know how long that's well, going to be. Well, yeah, the actors are joining the writers yeah. on the picket line, so we're moving in the wrong direction. But they can't give up, right? The money is part of it, but the AI being allowed to take over their jobs, they can't give in for the sake of their jobs and future writers and future actors. They can't give in, so they, they have to. But can you stop technology, right? AI is coming. 
Yeah, I mean, listen, and that the regulatory around this is something that it's, it's, it's really interesting that we're putting these two things together. If you think about all the worries about some of the biggest technologists out there about what AI could do to the human race, think of the movies that we came up with, right? Um, Skynet, think of the Matrix, these sorts of things. This is what it's all about. Technology so, is going to kill us, and yeah, now it there's is. There's a certain level of irony. It's, it's killing our jobs first, I guess. But we're already seeing newsrooms saying to the writers and editors, we cannot use chat, beach, right? We cannot use AI to write our to write our articles, right? So so we can make limits within different professions. But what stop. happens when the next derivative of AI improves itself and newsrooms say, oh, well, now it did meet our standards. We're not far away from that. Except there is one sector that I think producers will discover it's not fun to yell at AI <laughs> and it's not fun to fire it. You can't humiliate it in the but same way you no can humanity. with writers. Except well, that I think they'll miss that. I think that it's there will be other factors in play. I, mean, I think we're, we're just talking about succession, right? The magic of writing, especially when it comes to, to, to drama, to scripted series, is in those life experiences. It's in the richness of the characters. It's in the backstories. It's in having real people who you believe are real people and you think about even when the show is over. I, I just don't know if AI captures that. Yeah, I'm not sure that human creativity can be matched by these computers, right? And we're talking about writing, we're talking about painting, when we're talking about doing truly creative things. I understand Yuval Harari in Homo Deus is saying, in 100 years, the computers and the robots will rule over us, right? Because they're so much smarter than them. I understand that, but in the creative arts, it's different. All right, my MVP is not anyone that I am celebrating, but they certainly are. They had an extraordinary week and that is the Sackler family. The owners of Purdue Pharma, the maker of Oxycontin, the root of the opioid crisis, they now have full immunity from civil lawsuits in exchange for $6 billion to help solve the crisis that they helped create. And make no mistake, they can pay that $6 billion and they are still going to be filthy, filthy rich. The Sacklers may be flush with cash though, but I would still much rather be Kendall Roy lost and alone, staring at New Jersey, then be a member of that family responsible for this crisis.